Hello guys, welcome to another interesting video in the series of coding. It is called pseudo palindromic paths in a binary tree. So this is the question for today. Let's get started. We are given a binary tree where node values are digits from 1 to 9. A path in the binary tree is said to be pseudo palindromic if at least one permutation of the node values in the path is a palindrome. We have to return the number of pseudo palindromic paths going from the root node to leaf nodes. So for example, in this case, let's try to count how many palindromic paths are there. So let's consider the first path that are having the digits as 2, 3 and 3. So we can see that we can form a palindrome using these because we can place the 3 at the ends and we have a 2 in the middle. So this is a palindrome. So we are having one palindrome as of now. Let's move forward to the next path. So in the next path, we can see that the digits are 2, 3 and 1. So we can observe that using the digits 2, 3, 1, you cannot form a palindrome no matter how you rearrange the digits. So this cannot form a palindrome. Let us uh, move forward to the next path that we have. So 2, 1 and 1. So again, we can form a palindrome by placing 1 at the ends and then we have 2 in the middle. So 1 to 1 is a palindrome. So we have two palindromes here or uh, two paths that are giving us palindrome. So these are called pseudo palindromic paths and we have to return the number 2. Okay, uh, now let's move forward to the next example. So this is an example which we'll take to understand the logic of the code and then we'll move forward to actually coding it. So this is the same example that is given to us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to declare a vector and I'm going to um, just have its indices ranging from 0 to 9 because all my digits are going to range from 1 to 9 only that is given specifically in the question. So every time I encounter some value, some root nodes value, I'm going to increment the value corresponding in this vector also. So initially I'm going to initialize all the values to zero. And every time I encounter uh, some value in the root, then I'm going to increment the frequency here. So let's get started. So first, we are going to start with the root node that is having a value of 2. So I'm going to increment the value of 2 and I'm going to make this value as uh, 1. That is it has occurred one time till now. Now I'm going to move forward and call the function recursively on its left child first. So that is having a value of 1. So I'm going to change the value of 1 also and that is going to be equal to 1. I'm going to again call the function on its left child. So now this is again having a value of 1. So I'm going to uh, change its value and make its value to be 2. Okay, now I'm going to see it is having both left and right children as null. That means I've reached the end of the path. And since I've reached the end of the path, I know that I will have to check if this path is a pseudo palindromic path or not. So I will have to iterate over all the elements of the array and I'm going to uh, check all the elements in the array. I just have to check now odd occurrences. And why I have to do this is, see, consider uh, numbers that are palindrome. For example, this number 2442, okay, or I'm going to even add 1, 1 here. So 1, 2, 4, 4, 2, 1. So see, this number is a palindrome. See, uh, why is it a palindrome? Is because it is having, uh, you know, uh, even number of occurrences for all its digits. See, 1 is occurring 2 times, 2 is occurring 2 times, 4 is occurring 2 times. So if any number has all even occurrences, then it is a palindrome. Okay. So let me take another example. What if I had the digit uh, 5 here? Okay. Then this number is not going to be a palindrome because see, I have 2 and 2 that are uh, occurring as uh, even occurrences. That means see, there are 2 2's right and there are two ones but 5 and 4 are occurring once and one one and one times that means it is odd number so if I have odd occurrences that are more than one then it will not be a palindrome okay if suppose I remove this 4 I just uh, make the number remaining as 1 to 5 to 1 then this is a palindromic number because in this case we have uh, 1 occurring 2 times 2 occurring 2 times but we have 5 occurring only one time so it is a palindrome so if we have odd occurrences okay that uh, that is only one time then it is a palindromic number okay so just i'll take last example also suppose uh, we have uh, this number so i'll write it properly suppose we have this number we can note that this is also a palindromic number we have five occurring three times okay uh, that means we have one odd occurrences we have one occurring two times two occurring two times okay 
then also it's a palindrome that means the number of odd occurrences should at most be one so the number of odd occurrences should at most be once then it is going to be a palindromic uh, number i do hope that uh, this will help to clarify so once we write the code i think then it will clear out in case any doubts are there okay so let's move forward so i'm going to count only uh, my odd occurrences so in this case i have only one odd occurrence and uh, s hence i know that this is a palindromic path so i'm i'm going to declare a variable count to keep track of my odd occurrences so count will be zero initially now after this uh, count has become one okay now i uh, move forward and i do the back tracking i return uh, back to the function so while uh, returning back i will have to uh, delete this value also so i will have to delete uh, the value of 1 because i'm returning back from here so i will change its value back to 1 okay now i move forward and call the function on its right child so that has a value of 3 so i will change the value of 3 to 1 okay i uh, recursively call its uh, left and right child so left child is null so then i call the right child so that is having a value of 1 so i will have to uh, change this value and i will have to make this value equal to 2 so now i again count uh, the odd occurrences so i have two odd occurrences right there are two odd numbers uh, that are appearing in my array that means this is not a palindromic path so i can uh, backtrack again and uh, while backtracking, I will have to first delete the value of uh, 1. So that will become 1 now. And I will uh, change the value of 3 also in the array. So that has become 0 now. And then again, I backtrack from here. So I have to delete the value of 1 again. So that is going to become 0 now. And I will uh, move forward. Now I'm going to call uh, the right child of 2. So that is again having a value of 1. So I will have to change this value and it has become 1. Now uh, since both these children are uh, null again, I will have to check if this is a palindromic path or not. So basically 2, 1 is the path. So it's not a palindromic path. We can even see that from the array. There are only two values uh, which are non-zero. And um, these two, there are two values. So only at most one value can be there which is odd. But there are two values that are odd. So this is also not a palindromic path. So my count remains 1 and I will have to return this count back. So let's try to write the code uh, in the hope that after writing the code, we will be able to understand this much more clearly. So uh, first what I will have to do is I will have to declare a count variable. So I'm going to declare int count equal to 0. This is what I'm going to return. Okay, so I will have to return my count variable. Now in between, I will uh, declare a pseudo count function that I am going to recursively call. So I will pass the root to it and I will pass count to it. Okay, now I am also going to declare a vector uh, that I had mentioned that is going to store the number of occurrences. So I am going to declare vector int. I can just call it anything. I will just call it n. Um, for simplicity and the index range from 0 to 9 and initially all the values are 0 so I will pass this n also here in the pseudo count function so that's it in my uh, pseudo palindromic paths function so now I will declare my pseudo count function so void pseudo count and I'm going to initially accept root node and I'm going to accept this uh, vector int n I am I will have to accept this by uh, reference because I'm going to change the values and that should be reflected uh, basically I will have to accept the count also by reference so int and count so I'll have to give this ampersand uh, symbol to tell that I'm accepting it by reference Okay, and uh, now first thing that I'll have to do is I'll have to just check if my root is null. In that case, I can just simply return back. Okay. Uh, now going forward, what I will have to do is I will have to uh, check the value of the root node and I will have to update the number of occurrences. So I have done that. After this, I will just call the pseudo count function recursively on its left and right child. So I'm going to pass left and right child. So... Similarly, I will have to 
check it for its right child so basically these two lines are going to recursively call the function on the roots or uh, left and right child okay now after this what i will have to do is i will have to check if roots uh, left and right are null that means if i have reached the end of the path if i have reached the end of the path i will have to check if it is a palindromic path or not so i will have to check that and um, for doing that i am going to declare a variable called flag that is going to count the number of odd occurrences okay if they are greater than 1 that means it's not a palindromic path otherwise it means it is a palindromic path so i will have to iterate over the array that i have so for int i equal to 0 uh, i less than equal to n i plus plus so i can even give 1 here because uh, the digits are going to range from 1 to 9 only so i can uh, give i is equal to 1 to i is less than equal to 9 that is also fine and uh, iterating over i will have to check if n of i mod 2 is not equal to 0 that means if it is a odd number then i will have to increment uh, my flag so i will increment the value of my flag okay now at the end of iterating over the array i will check if the number of odd occurrences are um, greater than 1 or not okay so if it is not greater than 1 that means uh, at most if the number of odd occurrences are 1 okay or it is less than that so uh, there are all even occurrences then also it's a palindromic number so i'll just give a or case if flag is 1 or if flag is 0 then i can simply uh, i can simply increment the value of my count so that's it and um, after this i will have to just decrement the value the current value while backtracking so i will have to give the opposite of this statement that i had given here so instead of plus plus i will give minus minus basically that should so let's uh, run and see if it is working so there is some error use of undeclared identifier pseudo count so i think i have given a spelling mistake that i should have corrected so pseudo count yeah so i have given a spelling mistake here i have corrected it i hope that it will work now yes yeah, so it's an accepted solution but we'll also submit and uh, check if it is accepted so yes it's accepted and it's even uh, faster than 100% of all the online submissions so it's a great uh, solution i hope please like and subscribe if you like the video thank you